Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk about the Act Man and how he has decided to blame Elon Musk over the fact that Twitter got banned in Brazil instead of criticizing the authoritarian Brazilian government. This was revealed in a tweet from the Act Man stating, quote, Farewell to the people of Brazil, we will miss you. Elon has nosedived this site into the fucking gutter. Note that the utterly tyrannical actions of the Brazilian government are completely omitted from this particular discussion. And also note that the only blame that the act ban passes on is towards Elon Musk and Elon Musk alone. Now credit where credit is due, Elon Musk is not perfect. I would say that his handling of Twitter could absolutely be described as two steps forward, one step back. However, saying that he is destroying Twitter is patently false. If anything, he's done more to save Twitter than anyone else at this point, despite the occasional screw-up. That said, when it comes to his dealing with the Brazilian government, I ultimately believe that he is completely in the right. At the end of the day, compromising Twitter to appease an outright authoritarian regime that openly ignores its own legal processes is something that absolutely crosses the line, and is an outcome that should not be tolerated in any way whatsoever. If Elon Musk were to cave, then either Brazilians would have their freedoms greatly restricted uniquely on Twitter, which could potentially lead to actual legitimate lawsuits, or alternatively, a uniformal standard would have to be applied to absolutely everyone, which would in effect mean that the Brazilian government might even hold sway on the rights of free speech of people that aren't even in Brazil in the first place. And this is of course all on top of the fact that it would lead to a foot in the door sort of situation that would encourage other authoritarian regimes to ramp up more pressure on Twitter just to have more censorship and control over social media. Keep in mind we're already seeing countries such as the UK try to threaten American citizens over their speech and try to get them arrested and extradited to the UK. Catering to the Brazilian government could easily result in those kinds of situations becoming all the more complicated and potentially in favor of those foreign powers. And make no mistake, appeasement was the only means that Twitter could have ever utilized to hope to remain legal in Brazil at this point. So ultimately, to blame Elon Musk for the fact that Twitter was banned in Brazil is to argue that Elon Musk should have appeased the tyrannical regime of Brazil. Unsurprisingly, the act man has received nothing but flack for this particular take of his, which he has of course decided to double down on when put to pressure, stating things such as, quote, Elon's position has has been free speech unless you break the laws. People are breaking the laws of Brazil and he refuses to comply or do anything about it. Dude is a liar, he's turned this app into a propaganda machine. What he fails to mention is of course the fact that Twitter was apparently supposed to follow the will of the government in censoring evidence of election interference on the part of the Brazilian government. In other words, Twitter was apparently supposed to respect the wishes of the Brazilian government in banning criticisms of the Brazilian government. And in the eyes of Axeman, this is protecting free speech, and failure to do so just turns Twitter into a propaganda machine. To say that this reasoning is completely backwards is, I feel, quite the understatement. And of course, the Axeman has been rather upset at the fact that people are criticizing him at his awful take by pretending that he never sided with the Brazilian government in this situation, despite the fact that, again, for Elon Musk to get Twitter to remain legal in Brazil, he would have ultimately had to cow down to sheer appeasement of the Brazilian government, a government currently set on censoring its own citizenry and outright ignoring due process within its own constitution. This situation is an actual dichotomy. There is no reasonable neutral ground here because the Brazilian government didn't offer any neutral ground. It was either accept their terms or get banned altogether. My point is there is no way in this particular situation that you could blame the actions of Elon Musk and not end up siding with the Brazilian government. And again, Elon Musk is not perfect. His handling of Twitter has not been perfect. I just in this particular situation cannot in good faith condemn his actions with regards 
to how he has reacted towards the Brazilian government. For these reasons, I believe it is quite apparent why this particular take from the act man is pretty atrocious, and why he has received so much backlash for it. Now, for those curious, I will of course be providing a link in the description below to the tweet thread itself, so you can check it out for yourself if you should so desire. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.